fighting hunger one garden at a time. That's the effort going on right now at Southwind Garden and Landscape Center. That's where we find meteorologist Taft Price, who's helping out and planning a row for the hungry. Hey, Taft. Hey, good morning, Mikey. Yeah, we're having a great time out here. My good buddy, Paul James. And I tell you what, Paul, we were out here last year and the excitement that the folks have of coming out and bringing that non-perishable food item and getting a free tomato plant. And you can see just as popular this year as what we saw last year. Yes, and we just love it. And, and people come up and thank us for supporting the Community Food Bank. We thank them because they're the ones that are making this event so successful. And tell us a little bit about what we could do if we want to help out. We want to get these free tomato plants. What do we need to do? You bring in a non-perishable food item. Um, you know, protein is the most valuable uh, thing that they need. So canned beans, peanut butter, those are great sources of protein and non-perishable. So, but you know, anything works. We had somebody about two years ago brought in escargot. Hmm, really? Mm, yes. Well, well, well. <laughs> fancy. <laughs> So yeah, just bringing the food item. We still have plenty of tomatoes, all different varieties. But I thought that went, since we're talking tomatoes. Why not talk tomatoes today? Why not talk tomatoes? Yes. So everybody comes in, what's the best tomato? Well, there's no such thing. To me, the best tomato is the one that the squirrel doesn't eat. Exactly, the one that makes it. Exactly. <laughs> but think of it in terms of, about, of a nature-nurture discussion. So 60% nature, meaning genetics. About 60% of that is all genetics as to whether or not you're going to get a good tasting tomato. The rest of it is nurture and that's that's our part. Okay. We got to take care of these things. First and foremost, don't plant too early. I think I saw some upper 30s, low 40s. 45 is kind of a cutoff. You really don't okay. want to, unless you're prepared to protect them. Um, and then you get them in the ground. I like to bury mine a little deep. So you can actually remove these lower leaves and plant all the way up to that hmm. portion right there. And that'll give you more root mass. Okay. But by far and away, the most important thing in terms of our, our nurturing our tomatoes is to water them properly. Wide swings in the moisture level, not good. That leads to something called blossom end rot. Mm, and it ruins, <laughs> it doesn't sound good, <laughs> does it? And it looks nasty, mm. um, but that ruins the tomato. So maintain even moisture levels, not too wet, not too dry, nice and even. Mulch will help maintain those even moisture levels. And beyond that, just watch out for pests and diseases. And I've always heard with these that they're so tender, you don't want to put actual water on the leaves themselves. Is that just something somebody just lied to me whenever they said? Yes. <laughs> All right, now that we got no, that one answered. No, 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 here's the deal. <laughs> it's better to water the base of the plant because if leaf surfaces remain wet, particularly mm -hmm. overnight, then you invite all kinds of fungal diseases mm -hmm. in particular. Um, so yeah, don't, don't water the leaves themselves. All right, so what kind of, uh, of variations do we have out here today that people can come out? You know, we've got slicers, we've got dicers. No, there's not a dicer. No, no, that's not <laughs> like a commercial, didn't it? <laughs> we got slicers, we got the big beef steak, you know, for that burger. Mm -mm. I'm hungry. I know. We've got cherry tomatoes. We've got the little patio tomatoes, which are great if you're growing in containers. Um, got uh, cherry tomatoes, all kinds. All right, Paul, we have about 25 seconds left. Tell us, tell us again a little bit about what we have going on out here and what time this ends. Well, come on down. Southwood Landscape and Garden Center, 91st and Lewis. We'll be here till 3 o'clock giving away tomatoes. Bring in a non-perishable food item. You'll get free tomatoes, limit 10 per person. That's pretty much it. And you want to get out here as fast as you can to get the best stuff. Exactly. Thank you, Paul, as always. Appreciate it.